graham crackers, but okay, this was weird. When I got the graham crackers from the Whole Foods, they came like this and not in the butter. It's mostly melted. fancy things and then pop it in the oven and this is a true labor of love because it is so hot in my house I can't believe I turned on my oven that is like such a rookie mistake but here I am I'm gonna do it yeah it doesn't need sugar normally I would use like the electric thingy but I was like, you know what, let's be like Little House on the Prairie and just do it by hand with the whisk. Because it seems pretty easy. So we're just supposed to do this and I've got to use my cute little can of condensed milk. Now, what I do not enjoy about this recipe is it does not want me to use the whole can of condensed milk. I'm supposed to use, I don't know, whatever the measurement is. I'm going to pretend it's about that, about that much. <laughs> what do I do with this much more condensed milk? I don't know. I don't know. I've never really, I've never really known. While this is doing this, I'm, I'm browning the graham cracker crust. have been chilling. I put some cream in the jar, a little bit of powdered sugar, shook it until it didn't sound like liquid anymore. And it's cream. Why did I do it like that? Well, because I didn't feel like getting out the mixer again. I'm trying to be old school. And I mean, I guess it's kind of a workout. Yeah. Like this. Put it back in, chill it a little bit more. If I wanted to be fancy, I could put some lime zest on top. But it is unclear if I would like to be fancy. Yet. When I woke up this morning, I did not think I was gonna make these. But all day yesterday, I was like, I need to go buy a key lime pie. I'm gonna buy a pie. No, I don't need a whole pie because I will eat a whole pie by myself. But these, just the right size. Mm, way less sugar. Do you like key lime like I like key lime? Like, I love key lime and I love these.